The Aztecs are infamously known as one of the bloodiest cults in human history. Many were killed including prisoners of war, women, young boys and girls, infants, slaves and animals in order to satisfy their gods. Only the ruling elite and grown men were spared this fate. In Mexico consider it an honor to be a sacrificial offering to the gods. In their view, the more painful and horrible the death, the better the afterlife. If you died of natural causes or a peaceful death, you were doomed to wander the afterlife, enduring trials and tribulations, before finally settling in a gloomy underworld, void of color and joy. If a warrior was fortunate enough to die in battle, or a victim on the top of a temple with a broken rib cage, while their pulsing heart was extracted in front of their eyes, then they experienced a glorious death. Their soul would be transported to the second highest level of heaven. The Mexico worshipped at least 52 gods and goddesses. Although some were worshipped more than others, they all needed to be satisfied with a staggering amount of human blood. The rituals of sacrifices had a wide range of punishments, such as starving, drowning, cannibalism, decapitation, and bludgeoning. The Aztecs inherited their human sacrifice traditions from the Mayan and Toltec civilizations. It began with auto-sacrifice by using sharp objects such as the barbs of a stingray to pierce the tongue or penis before they were pulled through. This action would cause immense pain, which was believed to summon spirits. The blood would then be used to sprinkle over fields and guarantee fertility. Unlike the Aztecs, the Mayans believed in quality over quantity, usually holding sacrifices for noblemen or captured kings. Under the Aztec regime, bloodletting reached unprecedented heights. Their sacrifice rituals all had their own amount of varying complexity. In a tribute to the Earth Goddess, a young girl would be raised for several months in the guise of a deity before being sacrificed through decapitation. After her death, her skin would be flayed and worn by the priest in hope to capture part of the deity's soul and transfer its powers to the environment. After three weeks, the rotting skin would reach a stage of decomposition that it would fall off the priest. A ritual known as the Cannibal's Gingerman included mixing children's blood with cornmeal and made into an image of Huitzilopochtli before being consumed by the nobles in the Tlatoani. The Aztecs believed that the practice of cannibalism enabled one to take the strength that remained in the victim's body. It was believed that humans were incarnations of the gods they represented, and by eating flesh, they could share that divinity. Records suggest that cannibalism was not practiced by commoners, and was not part of the average Aztec diet, but it was reserved for the elite and successful warriors. Jao Chicutli, the god of fire, is one of the original deities of Mexico. He also signifies the end of the calendar year, so he is celebrated highly. The most gruesome ritual performed is when a priest specially selects a newlywed couple. They are dressed in formal attire and are tossed into a blazing fire pit. As they flail in agony, the priest would carefully watch them and haul them out of the flames before death. The priest would then proceed to lay them out on the sacrificial stone and tear out their barely beating hearts. This ritual allows the god of fire to feast on their bodies and their soul.